Hi kids! Today we will learn basic concepts of geometry. So let's get started. Today we will learn about points, lines, line segments, and rays. Let's start with a point. A point is represented by a dot. It is named with a capital letter. Example, this is point A. Here are more examples of points. Here, A, B, C, D are points. Now, let's see what is a line segment. A line segment is a path between two points. Example, this is line segment AB or BA. Line segments are represented like this. That is, a bar above the line name. Here are some more examples of line segments. This line segment will be written as PQ or QP with a bar above the name. That denotes that it's a line segment. Similarly, this line will be represented as BC or CB with a bar above the line denotes that it's a line segment. Now, let's see what is a line. Line. A line is a straight path that goes on forever in both directions. That is, there is no end point on a line, unlike line segment. This is line AB or BA. This symbol is made on top of the name of a line. It denotes that the line goes on forever in both directions and there is no end point on it. Here are more examples of lines. And this is the way we write them. Now, let's see what is a ray. Ray. A ray is a straight path that goes forever in one direction. That is, ray AB. There is a end point on one side, and on one side, there is an arrow showing. It goes forever in this direction. It is named like this. The symbol on top of the name shows that this is a ray starting from A and goes forever in direction B. Here are more examples of rays and they will be names like this. Now, Let's learn what is a plane. A plane is a flat 2D surface. Plane is a surface that has only two dimensions, length and breadth. And a plane goes on forever in all directions. Example, if we are drawing something on a flat surface like paper, or a wall or floor, we are drawing on a plane, which is 2D. It has only two dimensions, length and breadth. And plane goes on forever. So, a flat surface that goes on forever is an example of plane. Now, Let's see what are intersecting lines. 
two or more lines that meet at a point are called intersecting lines. And the point at which the lines meet is called point of intersection. Here, this is the point of intersection of these two lines. And here, this is the point of intersection of all these lines. Here, the two lines CD and EF are intersecting at point M. Now, let's see what are parallel lines. Two lines, both in same plane, that never intersect are called parallel lines. Parallel lines remain the same distance apart at all times. These are two parallel lines. They can never meet each other. No matter how far you extend them, they can never meet. Distance between them always remains the same. This symbol is used to denote parallel lines. Here, the lines AB and CD are parallel to each other. We write it like this. Here, this symbol denotes that these two lines are parallel to each other. Now, let's see what are perpendicular lines. Two lines that intersect and form right angles are called perpendicular lines. Here, MN is perpendicular to line AB. That is the angle that is formed between the lines AB and MN is right angle or a 90 degree angle. This is a symbol that is used to denote perpendicular line. Here, the line MN is perpendicular to line AB or line AB is perpendicular to line MN. Let's see more perpendicular lines. Here, line CX is perpendicular to line AB. Here, line BX is perpendicular to line CD. Here, line DX is perpendicular to line BA. Here, line AX is perpendicular to line CD. So kids, today we learned that a point is represented by a dot and it is named with a capital letter. These are examples of some dots. We learned line segment is a path between two points. It is represented by a bar above the line name. These are examples of line segments. We learned line is a straight path that goes on forever in both directions. That is, there is no end point on a line. Symbol used for a line is this, representing two arrows in both directions. These are some examples of lines. We learned that ray is a straight path that goes on forever in one direction. That is, one end point is there on this line and one side there is an arrow. This symbol is used to denote a ray. These are some examples of rays. We also learn what is a plane. Plane is a flat 2D surface 
that goes on forever in all directions. And it has only two dimensions. We learned that two or more lines that meet at a point are called intersecting lines. And the point at which they meet is called point on intersection. We also learned that parallel lines are lines that can never meet on extending. Distance between them always remain the same. This symbol is used to denote parallel lines. We also learned that these are perpendicular lines. That is, the lines that form right angles between each other are called perpendicular lines. This is a symbol used to denote perpendicular lines. So kids, today we learned a lot about lines. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye. Oh,